Oh, uh, just a proud win uh, from these guys here. We've been uh, battling some injuries and battling this and there, and just uh, for them to come out here and play uh, the way they did from the jump, and then just not, and not let go. Just really, really proud um, against a team that's, you know, again, I know they're they're working hard, they're battling, and, and they're fighting their way from the bottom up. But they did play Drexel to a one point game. You know, they played uh, Northeastern tight, so you know we knew that they fight. So we um, we just really kept punching and did a great job tonight. Darius, career high in points for you. Just talk about how the game went. Um, I felt they couldn't guard me off the dribble, and I was using my right hand more. They were trying to force me right, so being able to use both sides of the floor helped me a lot. Team held a big rebounding advantage, and it wasn't just from the, the post players. Guards as well really racked up the rebounds. Just talk about having that advantage on the glass. Um, it was just really good. Everybody stepped up. Guards rebound and post rebound, and that takes a lot of um, pressure off the post if the guards are rebounding. So. Oh, yeah, you also set a career high score in double figures coming off the bench. Just yes. talk about the lift you tried to give the team. You know, the mentality is very important. Work hard. We've been doing this for so long. For me, well, came from um, ankle injury. So, coach gave me the confidence, my minutes, and I did a good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially with uh, the team being a little banged up, just how important oh. the on is. Yeah, I mean, I, I just kept her out of everything and all week and probably will continue doing that just to keep her fresh and keep her keep her doing well, because um, I know she was a spark at JMU, right? I heard the bench, I saw when she went in the JMU game, I heard Sydney Epps goes, that's, 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 that's that spark that we need. So we've, we've missed her, you know, with Sid being out, uh, you know, we really miss somebody that kind of comes off. You know, Asia's just been like a catalyst for us off the bench in her role, you know, just kind of like a sniper, and then Aliana is just like that fire. You know, it's almost like a little fire and ice between her and, and Asia. So, um, you know, now the, the roles are shifting a little bit and, and just, just really proud. I can't be any more proud of her. I mean, this is like what her capability is. I mean, you know, this, uh, you know, Aliana was on the right path even at Maris. I keep talking about that. We were designing some plays for her and some things kind of came out of things that we were doing. And so she just had a little bit of a setback and now she's back. So we're really happy about that. Coach, a lot of uh, transition baskets, especially mm -hmm. early on. Was that part of the game plan considering UNCW was lacking in the depth? Well, completely. I mean, you know, they like to run on us too, so we're aware of, of containing them. And then we just, that's how we like to play. So when we, we can get it, we certainly take it. I mean, like we've had to play different games in the last few weeks. Um, so we, we, we relish these opportunities and uh, we, we took, took advantage of it. Just talk about the offensive rebounds. Seems like you guys mm -hmm. rack up a lot in that first half and just really set the tempo of this game. Well, um, they know what they have to do on Sunday. And, uh, you know, and I think that's just a nice little prelude for us to heading down Delaware and do what we need to do there because uh, they're, they're strong, they're big, they rebound. Um, so we're going to need every one of those and, and more. Um, and we got hurt. You know, Wilmington was uh, averaging about 13 offensive boards. They had eight in the first half. So it's just a real good focus for them in the second half to kind of keep them off the offensive boards. And they end up only with 11 um, offensive boards. Uh, so that was only three more on the second half. So, um, you know, the shooting is going to come. You know, I was happy to see Liv, Olivia. Plus the three. You know, we just got to get our feet set. So we just got to get our confidence right now. I mean, we, you know, we're just at that little bit of a spurt right now. But it's going to come back. It's going to come back at the right time. So, you know, we'll just dare people they can play us differently. But we're we were a great shooting team, and we're just it is what it is right now in February, right? And everybody has to deal with this. So, um, you know, we'll get ourselves ready and uh, you know be ready for Sunday. Coach, there were a couple of times there on the court where you had both Sandra Dongbo and Angie White at the same time. What do you like about having those players play off each other at the same time on the court? I mean, look at that size. Look at that uh, ability in the post, right? That was pretty exciting. I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, some of the best in the entire CAA. And, and Sandra, I tell you what, I, I challenged her in this game, and I'm, I'm proud of her. I didn't get a chance to say that because we had about 56 people in the locker room, so I really kept it short in there. But I just wanted to tell Sandra because she was watching some film. We, we you know, she's an extremely intelligent young woman. And, and really takes a, a extreme focus on the academics, and, and she's talented on the athletic side. And, and I, you know, I just challenged her. I said, Would you, "This is a chemistry test today. Would you just take that same focus?" Because, um, you know, we need her. And I was proud. These guys didn't know about that conversation. Now they do. Now everybody does. But uh, you know, I, I kind of used it in that way for her because, and she did a great job. Um, she didn't allow uh, too many layups around her. She had stepped up before, kind of played. You know, overhelped at times, and so uh, you know, watching the film and just having a nice focus because um, we need her, <laughs> we need everybody, and uh, we certainly need her down the stretch. Darius, when Eliana, Sandra, Olivia, when they come off the bench and contribute like that, just what does that mean for the starters? Um, it's a real good lift. You know, when you come, when people come in off the bench, you always want to keep the spark going and don't want to let down. So it's really good that coming with high energy and what we need. Any other questions, guys? 
great play out of Angie tonight too. She needed this redemption game against them. She had not played as well down at their place. So she she played tough. She played strong and was finishing strong around that basket. And uh, you know she got uh, 11 shot attempts. Nay got nine. We were trying to run it through Nay in the beginning, but just really proud of Angie tonight too. Angie White really seems to have turned things around these uh, last few weeks. What has she been doing that's been helping her out so much? You know, I think a lot of it is just these guys of just keeping your confidence, you know, and playing through failure and, and realizing, you know, we, we as a coach always tell these guys how great we think they are constantly. We know their potential. Sometimes it's getting out of your own way. You know, even, even this one, when she misses something, I'm always wanting to turn the page and like this. Don't even have the page as a bad page because you know you're going to make a great play. But, you know, when we've all played, that part is hard for a minute, that maturity starts to kick in that you just know you got to go to the next play. You just know you can't you can't ponder over it and you can't get down. You can't not play defense. And so I think that maturity um, with Angie just kind of said, you know, I got to play through failure. I got to play through this and I just keep steady in it. And that's what she's done. So just, just really proud of all of their maturity here. This late in the season, we need to have a lot of focus and, and a great sense of maturity about our game and being a little bit more patient, um, you know, because again, you know, we, we still haven't played on all cylinders. So if we save that for some high moments where we'll take that we can play 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 running all the same cylinders at the right time. That'll be really good. Thank you. All right. Thank you.